Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video I will show you one of the best free recording softwares you can get right now. So, it's called Open Broadcaster Software and it is a free open source software for live streaming and recording. So right now what it, you're seeing is all being recorded with this software. So, it is free, you can get it for free, you don't have to pay anything, but I recommend you to donate a little bit of money to support the development of this software as it is free and it is a pretty great software. So to get it, you will go to obsproject.com and then you will click on the version you, you have, all right? So for me, I have Windows 10, so I'll click right here and I will download it and install it, but I already have uh, done it. So, and I'm recording with this software, so I cannot do it another time. So when your installation is done, you will have to do something that is very important. So if you have a 32-bit version, you won't have to do it, but if you have a 64-bit version and you, you're having trouble, so let's say you're opening the software and you click in preview stream and there is a black screen right here you have to do something so if you have a 64-bit version you will go in start you will go in all apps and you will go in open broadcaster software so here open broadcaster software so here you will have two versions you will have the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version so if you have a 64-bit computer you have to right click here and I recommend you to pin it uh, to the, to start right here so you will have quick access to it right next time but before doing this you will have to do another thing so you will have to go in more you'll have to go in open file location and you will see the 64-bit version so you will right click the 64-bit version and after that you will go in properties so in properties you will go in compatibility and you will select windows 7 and make sure to check this run this program in compatibility mode for windows 7 and you will click in apply so this is what you have to do if you have a 64-bit computer and you see a black screen here so after after that you will just uh, close OBS if it was open before you close it and then you reopen it with the 64-bit version that you have here so after that you will then click in preview stream and you should be able to see uh, your screen here so what you have to do to see the screen here I will show you so the first thing you have to do to do is put a source so you will right click you, you will click on add and you will click in monitor capture so I already have one I'll create another one to show you we'll click on OK and you will see this uh, window that will open so in this window I didn't touch anything if you want you can uh, play with the settings but I recommend you to just don't touch anything right here then you'll click OK So here, as you can see, if I click OK, it says warning, Aero is enabled. On Windows 7 Vista, it is recommended to disable Aero when using monitor capture or you will have low FPS. Go to video settings and disable Aero to avoid this problem. So as you can see, if you have Aero and you're using Windows 7 or Vista, they recommend you to disable it just because it, it slows down your computer a lot. Then you you have scenes, you can add a scene right here. As you can see, all the scenes are different. So you can have a lot of scenes. So basically you have scene one that will record your monitor. You can have a scene two that will do something else like window capture, etc. All right, so you can put more than one scene here to, to save your settings if you close on um, OBS. And after that, the last thing you'll have to play with is go in settings and settings. So here you will choose the language you want to use. Then you will see encoding. So in encoding, I use 14,000 uh, as the max bit rate. I use a, a X264 encoder and I use CBR, enable CBR padding. So the, these are my settings. And for audio encoding, I use AAC 
a 48 uh, kilohertz format, a bitrate of 128 and stereo as my channels. In broadcast settings, here you will choose uh, your output file destination. So you will click in browse and you will choose where it will save. You will put a name. So if you want to save to different folders each time you you create a new recording, you will have to change the the output location, all right, right here in file path. Then you will have the video. So here you can choose the resolution, the aspect ratio. And you will have the audio also. So here I didn't touch anything. So basically this is what you have to touch and you can set um some hotkeys. So for me it's F9 to start recording and F10 to stop recording. And yeah, so you have more um settings, more options. That you can play with I don't play with uh, these other options but you can you can test it to see what works best for best for you so I just showed you what works best for me so then you will have to start recording and when you finish your video you just simply click on stop recording and you will go to your output folder so for me it's here best free recording software I have this output folder but I'm recording right now so we won't be able to see the video but when you finish recording you will have to wait a little bit then you will be able to see the video that you just uh, recorded and that's it after that you use this video and you go in uh, editing software and you just edit your video so basically this is OBS I hope you like this video I hope it will help you to make some videos and I will see you in the next video Bye bye and take care. Today I'm going to show you how to render in the codec H.264 in Adobe After Effects CC. In this video I'm going to show you how to remove pimples and imperfections from a face.